Welcome back to Web API Tutorials. I'm Venkat. In this video, let us try to create user table. This is our project. Before creating user table, we need to modify one property. Go to user table class. That means user entity class. We have to modify this column name user type to user type ID because it is an integer property. The correct name for this is user type ID. Okay. Let us modify the column name first. Let's make it user type ID. And let's go to user config. Here you can see the moment we modified the name, here it is showing the error. Here also we need to modify. Okay, I have modified it. Let's go to package manager console and let's update this to database. So let's go to database. Let me show you the column name. Here it is a user type. Now let me update this. Add migration. user table column name so you can see the migration file generated here it is renaming the column it is detected that we are renaming the column user type to user type id from user table okay if something goes wrong this will revert like this okay so it will apply with this command Let's update this to database. Update database. It is applied to database. Let's go to the database and refresh this. Refresh this table. And here you can see user type ID. The column name got modified. And now let's start adding the user type table user type entity class right click on your data folder add class user type add so this is user type entity class there will be three properties id and this one is string this one is string this one is user type name description. Okay, these are the three fields we needed. Let's create the DB set. Let's go to the college DB context. Here we need to create the DB set. I'm copy pasting the existing row and I am updating the details. Now we have added new DB set. So our table name is user types. Now we need to add the configuration. Let me copy paste. And you can give the name user type. Okay, user type config. So it's a user type config. Let us add the user type config file. I have added the user type config file. And let me copy the existing configuration we have already discussed to the new one. I have pasted that. And what is our table name now? Table name is user type. Update your table name. So that's the table name. ID is there and it is primary key. ID is also identity column. And what is our column names? What are our column names? Name and description. Okay, we have these three columns and name is required and description is optional 
and let's put restriction for name also so name should be 250 characters length and description should be a bigger one 1500 characters length okay let's add the default data our table name is user type name equal to something and description equal to something so this is the data we need to add what is the name user type first type is a students student type and this one is for students and we need to add comma let us add four different types first one is student second one is faculty and third one is non-teaching staff or supporting staff supporting staff and parents this is for parents and this one is for supporting staff and this one is for faculty so we have added four default records okay now we have added four default records now let me remove this this one is not required here okay table configuration is completed let's go to the context file the error is gone so now table creation is completed after creating this table we will create the foreign key relationship so let's update this let's add this migration add migration what is our migration name adding user type table for different patterns supported db context of type empty the exception the seed entity for the entity type user type cannot be added because another seed entity with same key value for id has already been added unable to create db context of type the exception the seed entity for the for entity type user type cannot be added what is this error user type okay id name and description user type config user types is the table id is the identity column and name is required and description is optional user type id one ah okay we forgot to change the ids two three four so add migration migration file generated user types table will create with these columns and this is the primary key and this is the default data okay let's update the database update database database is updated let's go to database and update the tables folder okay we can see there is a table added let's go to the data so there are four records added super so now we did two things we have renamed the column and we have added the user types table now we need to add the foreign key relationship between user type table and user table okay so one user type will have multiple users right 
so one user type like student user type can be assigned to multiple people right so here we need to add collection public virtual i collection users okay and in the user table we need to add the user type table reference public virtual user type user type that's the table reference i have added we have already added the user type id so that is not required now we have already added it so now i have added the user type table reference now let's go to the user config and we need to add the foreign key mapping so let's copy the foreign key mapping from student config so that's the foreign key mapping and here user type users user type id and here users and user type so foreign key relationship between users table and user type table okay user types okay user types table so that's the foreign key relationship we wanted to add let's go to this user table and keys here now you can see only one primary key is there so after updating we can see the foreign key also so let's add the migration add migration adding foreign key let me copy this adding foreign key between users and user types enter okay migration added here you can see it is creating index and foreign key update database the operation failed because an index or statistics with ix user user type id already exist on table users that's okay user table already has the index let me delete this okay and let's try again update database so this time it worked you might ask a question why it is already there so i might be forgot to delete i have practiced it and i forgot to delete that so that's why it was there so i have deleted now and we have applied it so we can see it again so now let me refresh this so index added and foreign key added so with this we have created user type table also so this is our er diagram and to this let us add the user type table so here you can see the relationship it is already added the moment we added the table it added the relationship so user type is related to this user type id in users table foreign key relationship okay this is the er diagram we have created for role based authentication so with this tables creation is completed and from next video onwards let us create the implementation so let me commit this code it's a part 87 sync it
for more videos like this please like share and subscribe thank you